Hey there YouTube, this is the Marines Man. Um, what I'm showing you today is a model that I built of the M1919A4. Um, it's a heavy barreled machine gun used in World War II and uh, up until I believe Vietnam. We used them in a lot of our tanks and I believe we used them in some aircraft as well. So um, I'm just going to kind of go over it. Now once again I said this is a model. Um, this is not the real thing. Um, we built the stand, then we built the uh, guns, what, something I did over the summer. Um, it took about three weeks, I suppose, of kind of on and off work. So uh, first thing, I'm going to go over the uh, bullets right here that we have hanging out. This piece comes off. Hold on, let's get it. it. Instead of doing a folding cover, it's had to just have it slip on because of the, uh, what was it, because of just ease? Because the other way it looked really, it would, would have looked really bad. But um, bullets, these are already fired 30 odd six and then um, we used regular links and uh, these heads are a little bit small because we used a um, 7.62 by 39 so from the AK round polished them up and put them in I think it looks really good next up we have the uh, front and rear sights they do fold as you can see um, this one's spring loaded a little bit by a piece of uh, metal that I put in um, those I believe we got casted I'm not sure exactly um, where we got those. If anyone wants to look at them, I can probably hook you up. Just uh, email a few people, and I'm pretty sure I can figure out where I got them. Then, um, barrel is PVC. This is the barrel jacket. Barrel inside is also PVC. Um, it's been screwed on as well as glued to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Um, the booster is on the front. The only thing the booster is missing is that slot in the front, but uh, no big deal. I think it looks pretty awesome. Then, um, what you're seeing is this this piece right here, not below, but just this right here, the screws, these uh, these are little uh, furniture tacks, and this uh, front side, those are the only metal parts in this gun. Everything else is, at least all of this section is wood, and uh, this is all the plastic PVC. So um, it comes off the stand, then uh, this is it, basically. The handles here, these are for a 1917, and they use them on early 1919 A4s, which are what this is supposed to be. But um, I can actually get the, I know the guy who sells these, um, I'm not sure what he's asking for them, but the, you can get these for the 1917. Um, I think they look really, really nice. I believe he sells them in uh, this particular wood, I can't think of the name, and um, also in walnut. I think this is cherry. Just lined up. And, um, so I mean, there's not much more to go over this. I just think, uh, something I wanted to build, um, I've built two other ones, which are, a lot less sophisticated than this one. I just kind of wanted to kind of, they're kind of like upgrading each one, and this one being the best, latest one I've built. And um, that's about it. I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it was kind of cool. Piece of fish tree that uh, doesn't cost $1,500 and up. Mm -hmm.